Hello everyone, in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to make a door schedule and in the example you have uh, or I have here in this uh, in this file is just a very basic uh, two-story house uh, it has a uh, ground floor mainly that's what we, uh, what we want to look at which is you know made of uh, I think three doors single doors and one double door and in the level one or the second floor we have just two double doors so how we do a door schedule for that? It's super easy. You just go to the schedule here in the view tab. View tab schedule and then you go to the uh, schedule and quantities. Uh, look for or use the keyboard to press D to get to the uh, required uh, keyword. I'm going to go doors here. And make sure that when you double click or select the door you're actually having the door here. Uh, I noticed some of my students, uh, when they do that, um, accidentally they go to ducts and then they end up by having something they don't want. I will start up by picking the parameters that I want to, you know, to be included in the schedule. So probably family and type is first, so you can either double click on it and it will be, you know, selected or you can, uh, you know, I'm going to go width. Select this one once and then go to the green button here. If you want to deselect, just you know, double click up here or press the red one. So let's have width, uh, probably height right here, levels, and I'm gonna take uh, mark. Let me hit. M with the keyboard that's easier mark and model uh, what else count that's important and cost so let's say this is uh, you know this is enough for now so that's the door schedule super easy as I said and you can see the benefit of naming things properly as a family and you can tell from the name uh, uh, the description it's a single flush or a double flush and the width and height here and you can see that reflect back here and the width and height that's a good way to check that if your family name is identical and similar to the actual parameter of the width and length the le the level that you have it in and notes that there is no sorting you have all the doors in the same place uh, in the same schedule and mark of course it's the uh, you know the uh, actual number or the unique actual number for each door while the model is you should you know give a name for each uh, type or each family so this is the same so these three are the same so if I say here D1 and I hit enter it will ask you if you allow to propagate that to all the families and you can you can see that that's all the 1000 by 2000 type uh, is actually all the family member have a D1 well, this one could be D2, and by that, if you say yes, you'll have D11, and D12, and D13, and so on. Uh, count is just, you know, uh, self explained just one of each one of those, that's normal. And let's assume that we have a cost for the single door, let's say 500, and of course that will be propagated for all the D1 family, and if you say the double door will cost like 800, and you hit enter, and enter again, that will be also propagated or taken to the other types or other instance of the detour itself, D2 itself. Now that's that's the basic uh, of making it. Of course, if you want to change the name, just double click here. Uh, I don't know door schedule. I don't know whatever naming you know you want. You can do that right here in this uh, uh, in this file in this row. Now to organize that now there's no organization there's no sorting nor filtering you need to go to the side uh, property panel here and I'm gonna go to fields and if you press on fields you are now uh, able to add uh, uh, you know you add the uh, more parameter or more fields here so let's say go description and in the description you can you know of course uh, if you accept that, you can add any detail you want, like for example, a provider uh, or a supplier. You can say the supplier for this product is uh, Sam, uh, for example, and uh, the supplier for this one is I don't know, David, or I don't know, whatever name, uh, whatever name comes in your head, and that will be you know, uh, 
propagate it to all that type so you know who is actual supply supplier or even define your own uh, field in here and you can add the description as uh, a detail of it whatever you want to add in it actually so that's the field and you can press on the filter I'll, 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 you know filter is just you know I, I prefer not to talk about it now but uh, let's let's go through it quickly uh, it's you know the, the ability to filter the information based on uh, what you want so for example if you want to filter by width and that's with equal to something let's say I want to see any actually I want to see only the doors with the width equal to 1000 and that will filter the rest I don't want to talk about it because it's always for a beginner and I'm targeting in this video my uh, dear student at Ajman University might be confusing for a beginner to learn it you can say I want the door that have a width of a greater than uh, 1200 you know so he's gonna show you only the door with the width of more than 12, 1200 which is the 2000 family and of course things will get messier if you add more than one parameter let's say for example the more than 2000 let me add a double parameter saying that it should be follow length equal to uh, level one so give me all the doors that more uh, their width are more than 1200 so they are one two three and their level are in level one or located in level one so it should show only those two so you know if you have too much uh, filters or you provided the incorrect parameter or cannot be match any of this in a sense you usually end up by having nothing that's why I preferred not to talk about it in the beginning as I said Anywho, so for my dear student at Ajman University, we're not going to do that. You know, just, just for you to know what is it. Uh, now I'm going to go, okay, now I'll get all my information back as they were. Now, the important thing is actually the uh, sorting and grouping. Sorting and grouping, none. Here you can see there is no, no criteria for grouping. So I'll go for family and type, which is the basic one. If I hit OK, it will just, uh, you know, it's you know organize them based on that without the division and I think all what he've done is just he put M at the beginning because all of them M all of them dashed and then he put D alphabetically before the S family so uh, almost uh, just an alphabetic organization or sorting and if you go to put a header separating here uh, or separator he will be add a header for this family and then add a header for this family separating them into two areas that's much better of course but they are still close to each other uh, again back to sorting if you hit the footer these criteria will be you know applied which is again put the back and give me a title and give me a total count and a total so I'm not gonna change that leave that for the default and as you can see he repeated the name and he gave me the overall number of uh, you know a total count so the count and then total we have three of them I do prefer the three checkbox to be on. As simple as that might sound, it's going to leave a blank line here between those two. And it's really useful and less pain for our eyes if you have a separated line that can tell your brain that this is done and this is something else. You know, I, I would believe that's really useful. Again, and you can see if we proceed uh, formatting on the uh, on the really important one so let's say I want to see the count right here so I'm gonna go for formatting I'm gonna go count and I'm gonna ask the count see here say no calculation just make calculate totals and hit OK and now you can see that there is we have three here and we have also three here that's beautiful and I can go for formatting direct to from here and go to cost and again ask this guy to give me the calculation of the cost and I'm gonna say okay and as you can see that we have the uh, 2400 for the cost of those three and then 1500 for the cost of those and that's really uh, really useful uh, to get the overall calculation and of course you can uh, come back anytime and uh, let's go and change uh, the sorting this time instead of the family for example, maybe to know each uh, construction phase, what do we need? We can go for level. So, for example, if I want uh, whatever any ground floor first, and then whatever on the first floor, 
and you're going to see that he put the three of those in the beginning and you can put those two in it so if I go back and you know closing things and let me go to the even this one close it and I'll go to view and then title or tile views and you can see that uh, this door is uh, which is which and this one is again this one you see this one is this one so those three which is which are those three in the ground floor and this dude which is the only one in the first floor which is really good and of course if you want to um, that that will really you know clicking this will be highlighted there and uh, that will really beautiful because you can you know see what you have in the schedule and what it's represented it here as a physical model so you have both physical model and uh, you know table or information representation of the same elements in here and of course if you add this is an automatic uh, update and interactive schedule so if you create a door here a new one immediately you see that it will be pop in here uh, immediately in the schedule and if you delete it it will update the schedule which is great you know uh, if you go there delete it and it will be deleted immediately so back to my <clears throat> Back to my schedule, the last step, I believe, is to go to edit, uh, sorry, is to go to the appearance. And you can change from the appearance, you know, the thin lines, uh, you know, how it's look like. Uh, you want to you wanna change anything related to the graphics. I'm not going to talk about that. I really concerned, guys, about the stripes. And I'm going to make any, any kind of color, make it lighter or closer to the white. And that's helped me a lot to get, you know, uh, you know, this white, yellow, white, yellow. That's easier for you if you have a long uh, or lots of columns, so your eyes follow the this single color and can know uh, information related to the topic at the same time. If you put them the same color, it would be really hard to be distinguished. Anyway, I'm not going to talk about again all this information. It's I think self-explain what type of a text you want in a header or in a body. Uh, in a formatting, again, the upper part is talking about how it should be allocated left, right, or middle, uh, almost like uh, Microsoft Word. And I really more concerned for my students specifically to, you know, have a look of how they construct the schedule and what's the important values to be added in. Uh, there is one important thing, which is itemize every instance. I don't know. It's 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 really sometimes in in the uh, in architecture we don't need all this information to be shown. Sometimes. Uh, maybe in the door schedule we need it like that. That makes more sense uh, to see the width, to see the mark, to see the you know the model and all that, the model of it and all that information. But if you want, if you remove the itemize every item and hit OK, you're gonna see that uh, for the ground floor overall you have four overall. That's the cost, you know. And in the level one you have uh, you know only two, and you have uh, sorry in the level one here you have only two, and that's the overall price. Don't freak out when you say uh, varies for the width because if you remember, if I go back, that you have two types of widths, which is 1,000 and 2,000 in here. You are not sorting by the family type, so you're not supposed to see 1,000 only. And if you go redo, why why do I have to see it in level one? Because here you have only one door, which is 2,000, but in the in the ground floor you have two types, and normally Revit will say varies, and same thing for the type itself. Anyway, I do prefer it like this for specifically for the door uh, schedule. Anyway, I, I hope that this short video, you can find it useful. Uh, guys, uh, thank you very much for watching and have a good day. Bye-bye.